Johnson. I'm going to show you how to mix some colors to match Bob Ross using the Windsor & Newton Artisan, so the water mixable colors. And the first the first step, or the first color I'm going to go over is Indian Yellow. Um, and these are all colors that uh, Bob Ross uses, but they aren't available in this in this brand. So if you want to use the water mixable oils, you'd have to you'd have to do some mixing. So that's what I'm that's what I'm going to go over. So the first step is getting some of this. Uh, I have lemon yellow. I'm going to be making Indian yellow. So lemon yellow, and then just a touch of the uh, cadmium red hue. And I use cadmium red as a replacement for permanent red. I think just for my eyes they, they seem pretty similar and the ratio for this color is you want probably I'd honestly say like 10 parts yellow to one part red because the yellow gets over overbared by the the red very easily so I have that it's just, a, just a little tiny bit of red or yellow here and then add just the tiniest tiniest touch like that like may, maybe even less less than this because it, 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 again it gets it gets uh, overridden pretty fast so we'll just take the palette knife and stir it up and see how it's already turning like a darkish orange and Indian yellow is a very light orange so there we go it came out just yeah just like that and you want kind of maybe a little bit less red even but that'll that'll get you your Indian yellow. So I'm going to take and wipe off the knife real quick. Maybe scrape this off too. I can use this later. I actually use to store these paints. I have these little uh, canning jars I got on uh, Amazon. They work really well for holding paints, so I've been using those. All right. So that's Indian yellow. Next, I'm going to go into uh, another common color Bob uses. And that's Van Dyke Brown, and that's a color you can't get with the um, water mixable oils, which I thought was pretty surprising, but uh, it's not it's not hard to mix. So we've got raw umber is a color you can get. So this is just regular raw umber, um, and the other color you need for this is ivory black. And ivory black, um, I use this a lot when I'm mixing their paints. So the ratio here, and I'll actually start with the black. The ratio for Van Dyke Brown is three parts ivory black to one part of the raw umber. So I got a little, little tiny bit of the black here, and then to that I'll go about two thirds of the way up with this raw umber. So we got it right here. And we'll go two thirds of the way. So let's see, right there, up and top. And this will give you a very dark, very dark brown, which is uh, Van Dyke brown, or s similar to Van Dyke brown. It's never a hundred percent accurate. So we mix it up, and it's going to be very, very dark. It almost look black, but not quite. Just right on the edge of black. I'm not sure if you can see that, but if you smear it out, you can start to see it. So that's the Van Dyke Brown. Three parts ivory black to two parts raw umber. And I'll scrape this off. It's just a shame to waste all this paint, you know. But I'll use it again. The paint's never wasted. Alright. So that's raw umber. The next color Bob uses in is uh, dark sienna and they have they do have a burnt sienna color so that's just uh, burnt sienna and it's the same same ratio as the Van Dyke Brown I found makes the dark sienna but you can add you can add even less dark sienna. Dark sienna I found is or burnt sienna is very strong in the water mixable colors and and the the ivory black I found does not uh, it doesn't darken the burnt sienna as much as it does the raw umber. So that's kind of the same ratio there. Two parts 
of the burnt sienna, or yeah, two parts burnt sienna to the three parts ivory black. And you just mix them up the same way. And I'm, for whatever reason, this this burnt sienna that I got is very dry paint. Um, so I can tell if it's mixed <laughs> pretty easy because it's it's the same consistency across. So here we've got it, and it looks it looks very dark. Um, but if you put this on, and you can kind of see it around the edge here, the if you put this on the liquid white, it will um, turn a very nice red color. Uh, I really like I would really like the dark sienna. So that's dark sienna. So we've done ivory, all but one. Let's see if I can remember the ah the fun one. Midnight Black. Midnight Black is kind of tricky to mix. Um, you can do it a, a very various different ways. So the way that I I mix it is uh, three parts alizarin crimson, permanent alizarin crimson to one part French ultramarine. Uh, and 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 I just like this because it's a very deep blue. You can also use Prussian blue. I found Prussian blue works pretty good as well so but this one it's gonna make a very dark purple you're really going for a very very dark purple color so here I've got just a little strip of alizarin crimson and I'll put all these in the description so you don't have to you don't have to rewatch the video <laughs> but yeah so this is I believe I said three parts alizarin crimson to one part French ultramarine so here's the ultramarine just a little bit and it, it gets overpowered. The alizarin crimson gets overpowered very, very easily. So we've got that. And we'll mix this up. And it, on your palette, when you do this, it's going to look pretty much black. You won't, you won't be able to see much of anything on this. Yeah. So you see here. Make sure you pick it off the palette as well. Very, very dark. Spread it out, and you can see around the edges there. If I added some white to this, you'd probably be able to see it easier. But it's very, very dark purple, and that will get you your midnight black. And I'm actually going to use this in a painting here. I'm going to leave it on my palette. And again, if you want to, if you want to store these, just get these little tiny mason jars. Um, any jar will do. They'll work just fine. But I think that's all the colors I had to go through. Um, if you got any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Um, thanks. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.